Hey there, AI enthusiasts! Get ready to unlock the power of Llama 2 on ONNX. In this video, we're diving into the world of generative text and exploring the optimized version of the Llama 2 model for ONNX.so. What exactly is Llama 2 on ONNX? Well, it's a fantastic tool that gives you access to pre trained models and code examples for running Llama 2 with ONNX. This means you can generate text like never before with the help of this powerful combination. But that's not all. We've got some exciting discussions happening in the comments section. People are sharing their hardware setups for running Llama 2 locally. Some are using GPUs, while others are relying on CPUs with varying amounts of memory. It's fascinating to see the different approaches people are taking to optimize their Llama 2 experience. Speaking of optimization, there's a comparison being made between Llama 2 and other models like GPT-4. Some users believe that GPT-4 takes the crown for superiority. It's always interesting to see how different models stack up against each other in the ever-evolving field of artificial intelligence. Now, let's talk about the performance and optimization of ONNX models compared to other alternatives like Llama.cpp. Opinions are divided here. Some users are praising the efficiency and effectiveness of ONNX, while others are skeptical about its adoption in the ML ecosystem. It's a lively debate, and we want to hear your thoughts too. So, are you ready to unlock the power of Llama 2 on ONNX? With pre-trained models, code examples, and hardware setups, you'll have everything you need to take your generative text capabilities to the next level. Don't forget to join the discussion in the comments section and share your experiences with Llama 2. ONNX, and other models. Together, we can push the boundaries of artificial intelligence and create a future where text generation knows no bounds. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting AI news. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Until next time, happy coding!